Shimmers Paints and today we'll be making a banner and these are for your home photography for your kids to use um, for Valentine's or for whatever occasion spell anything you like and pull out your Shimmers spritzes and have fun with this alright let's begin alright so I'm going to be using two Shimmers products um, one is a Shimmer spritz and this is called Cotton Candy and I'm almost out of it, so I'm going to show you a way just to use up, um, you know, when you have a little bit of spritz left, um, how you can apply that. And here is a Shimmers Vibes product, and this is a, a bolder color, and this is Razzle Dazzle Berry. Okay, so to make your banner, um, I'm going to print my letters. So I'm going to start with a piece of, this is a really thick watercolor paper, it's smooth. It'll go through my printer nicely, but I want to apply the color first. So I'm going to spell the word love, so I'm going to have an L-O-V-E, roughly, when I put it through the printer. So I'm going to start by spritzing the Vibes product. So I'm just going to kind of make sure I get every corner there. I'm going to take a sponge, I'm just going to sponge it up, and this is kind of going to get rid of those, um, uh, the dots, because the watercolor paper actually it takes a while for the, the product to get absorbed, so it just sits on there for a little while, so you can pull up those dots. So again, this is a sea sponge, all right? So I bought it in a, in a really big thing and then just pulled off pieces as I need them. So here we have this uh, cotton candy product, and you'll see I don't have a lot left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour it on the paper and then I'm just gonna draw from it and just mix it in. I could even do this if I wanted. I just want a nice coating of color here for my tags. Okay, and to help the drying process, I'm going to get out my heat gun and dry it. All right, so the paper has um, just curled up on me a little bit, but that's not a problem. I'm just going to fold it back into shape, even just kind of roll it backwards, and uh, I'm going to go put it in the printer now. Okay, I'll be back. Alright, so the next goal, um, after you've printed your letters onto your shimmerized paper, uh, what you do is you find a die template um, if you have these handy. If not, you can just cut out your own shape of a banner, like a regular type banner. And you make sure that, um, so your die template, this is called uh, Labels 14, it's from Spellbinders. It's a nestability set, so there's um, quite a few different sizes. I'm going to be using the largest one. And I'm going to try and keep the letters in the same spot. So there I will cut the L, I'll shift it over and I'll cut the O, we'll leave the O at the bottom. Same thing with the V and the E. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and run those through my uh, Grand Caliber, which is a Spellbinders die cut machine, and I'll be back with our die cuts. Okay, so I have my four uh, little die cut letters ready for the banner, but I'm also I'm going to add just a little tad more color because I can. So I'm just going to spritz it again. This is with the Razzle Dazzle Berry, and I'm going to have it darker at the top here. Okay? So that will be, that will look really cool. So I'm just going to let that um, absorb. I'm going to let that dry, and then we'll go ahead and put it into a banner. All right, so um, to make these um, die cuts a little more sturdy, what I've done is I've also die cut some cereal box board. And I'm going to glue them together like this so that the back is a nice craft color and the front is your letter. Um, and I, I tried one with a glue gun. It was just hard to line up and then it dried. So I went to my Glue Glider Pro, which um, has a Permatac adhesive on it. And you can easily just go around the edges with this um, glue applicator. Okay, so this I find is going to be a good application. Do one right in the middle or two. And then you see how some of the glue is sticking over the sides? You just fold it in. And this is going to stick to the cardboard quite nicely. So just line it up. Okay. There you go. Okay. So this is just a lot sturdier for your banner. So let's put that in the right order. I'm going to hole punch two holes in the top of each tag and I'm going to try and line them up um, the same on each. 
Okay, so we'll try and follow that same placement for each one. And the ribbon's just going to go in and out of these holes. Okay. Alright, so you can go ahead and weave in um, whatever twine or ribbon you're going to use to string along your pieces. I'm going to have the twine go through the back. And that way I can tape them um, into place so that they don't shift when you're going to take a photograph and when people are holding these. Okay, and you can use any word you want. Anything that your printer can print, you can make as far as the words you choose. Okay, so this is just going to be a nice, simple banner. Um, so I'm going to turn this around and tape them as I would like to have them spaced. Just a little piece of tape is all you need. I'm trying to have them equally spaced. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, and there you have it. A cute love banner for your home photographs. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you pull out all your Shimmers products and give this a try. Thanks for watching.